I'm Dr. Anna Dalszewska, consultant and senior lecturer in Liverpool, and I have an interest in Paget's disease of bone. So if we look again at the cells um, that um, allow for bone remodeling, in Paget's disease, the osteoclasts are highly abnormal. They are enlarged and they come in large numbers uh, to uh, resolve bone. And it comes as no surprise that osteoblasts that then uh, want to lay new bone also do it in a haphazard way, such that the newly formed bone is abnormal, it's depicted here in red, and it's much weaker. And this can cause... So what is the treatment for Paget's disease? Thanks to the pioneering work of Professor Graham Russell and his colleagues about uh, 50 years ago, we now have uh, fantastic drugs to uh, treat Paget's disease. These are known as bisphosphonates, and the gold standard is dolodronic acid, which is given in an infusion. Resedronate, uh, given in tablets, can also be used uh, in patients who can't receive dolodronic acid. So what do they do? What do the bisphosphonates do? So if we look again at our um, affected bone with Paget's disease, uh, with a lot of osteoclasts, busily resolving bone, um, what bisphosphonates do, they actually wipe out the osteoclasts. And you will also note that uh, they, uh, by doing so, they also uh, uh, leave a residue uh, on top of the remodeling bone. And this residue is important because it poisons any other osteoclasts which might want to come along and resolve bone. And secondly, they allow for normal healthy bone formation. This has been proven on biopsy. However, what they can't do is uh, reverse the deformity which uh, may have already formed. Zoledronic acid significantly improves alkaline phosphatase um, and also uh, the quality of life in uh, Paget's disease. And I'll show you the effect of zoledronic acid on alkaline phosphatase here as compared to resedronate. So 